Well, tonight the 9-11 Tribute Museum closing its doors for a final time, unable to recover from pandemic losses. The museum created by family members of firefighters who died that day. And while the physical museum is no more, it's not the end of the road. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson shows us what's next. Everything we've done, I've been proud of. Here inside the 9-11 Tribute Museum, where millions have learned what it means to be resilient. I remember whispering to myself, is this where it all ends for me? Is this where I die? Seen images they'll never forget, heard stories of survival. Peter has shared his having cheated death twice inside the Twin Towers. The amount of hugs and handshakes and tears that I experienced over 13 years is what partly what made it all worth it. Peter volunteers here, but this is his final day on the job. Opened in 2006, the museum must now shut its doors, yet another casualty of the pandemic. The number of visitors has dropped from more than 500,000 in 2011 to just 26,000 last year. Well, millions of dollars in debt with our lease, and to try to make that up on top of the annual operating is almost impossible at this rate without visitors coming back and without some intervention from our government, New York State, New York City. Working here has helped Peter heal. In 1993, he was in the North Tower. Building shook, uh, lights went out immediately, and within five minutes, smoke had reached our floor. In 2001, in an office on the 69th floor. This was a slam into the building, knocks me onto my desk. I get up and I stand up, and the floor is not stable, it's rolling. Pieces of this collection will head to Albany to the New York State Museum. Others will be returned to the original owners. There will also be an online component. But not being able to physically come here, nothing can replace that. I still have a purpose and I still want to share. I hope I haven't told my last story.